What are you doing here? Oh, it's silly. I came here on the off chance Sugar might have come back somehow. She really liked you, you know. She'd be proud of you. And the feeling was mutual. You think she's watching over us, like right now? I should up my game. I want to keep her proud, you know? Me too. Let's... Let's do this again. Meet up. All of us. Right here. For sure. Welcome everyone to some more Maple Story. And today it's gonna be a bit interesting. So as you can tell, my explorer character is now level 197 has officially surpassed my old, uh, warrior hero character, which I'm gonna delete. And I'll be doing the level 200 quest. I'm like, literally a poke away from leveling up at this point, as you can tell. <laughs> um, of course you guys are probably wondering, it's like, uh, you're not even close yet. Well, I should be leveling closer <laughs> anyway. But the point being, uh, I'm gonna be doing that, the uh, level 200 quest. But not only that, but I'm also going to cover Ho Young's remaining story quest. The ones I didn't do yet. Because I got my Ho Young to level 200, and I do want to also showcase that in this stream. And if there's some time left over, I can switch to my main and continue the grind, the slow grind to level 249. Uh, why is it so painful to level up? <laughs> but anyways, uh, we're close. I'm going to do this quest, which should get me to the levels anyway. Because I got to the Haven, and the Haven, the, the quest before you get the weekly, um, quest unlocked, or uh, is, a uh, it gives a lot of EXP. And also I've read this, like, at least 13 times now, so it's okay for me to skip. Or just like, do that. <laughs> okay, never mind. I guess we're gonna do it immediately. Oh, I thought there- I thought this quest would have taken me to this thing. Well, here we go, we're leveled up. Uh, you know what, let me go do all this first. Oh, and I can wear my new weapon! Which I prepared for this very occasion. Yes, I used one-handed swords on this character. And I chose to because I ended up getting this weapon at very cheap. And also, I just want to. So before we actually do the level 200 story quest, I'm just going to do this real quick. I forgot the soul window is open. How do I get rid of it? Uh... Uh, there. Okay, let me go do this quest real quick, and then we'll actually do the story quest. So I'm more EXP. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that the sword had, like, a little tiny chain. Because I was, like, wondering what those pix pixels were when I was, like, looking at a weapon on a separate source. Let me do this quickly. I still have to do the, uh... I guess I could do that. Oh, yeah, also... I want to also mention that, um... I'm not going... 
I won't do the vanishing journey on this character. I'll skip the quest. But for my... For when the fall update happens, I will do it. At least on one character. And uh, I did explain before that I have read uh, a blog of talking about KMS, like the updates that happened in KMS first. And there is some new dialogue that will be added in a future update, as in the fall update. And I don't want to go through the Vanishing Journey story again until that happens, like... So I have, like, a lot of characters prepared for uh, such an occasion. Okay, we already did all that. <laughs> well, not on stream, but I've done this 13 times on other characters and I already know what's up. I've done all the quests here, so I already know what's up. Uh, what's going on. I haven't done the Black Heaven quest in, in forever. I think the last time we did it was when I recorded on my Angelic Buster. Okay, we just get a little bit of EXP. Let me just unlock the quest. There we go. Okay, now let's do things. Wait, is there nothing? Ah! Uh... Is that it? I thought there would be something else. Oh no, we do have something. Oh yeah, basically also, I guess, yeah, this would also be considered a story quest because, from what I checked, the, uh... Uh, my brain stopped <laughs> working. Oh yeah, I have sound effects on again. But also, the fifth job advancement is unique for explorers, so I'll be going through it slow. Okay, first I want to go to leaf. Oh, the button, the button, the button, the button, button. Ah, <laughs> I didn't even notice there was a button here. Okay, now starting to hear a job advancement quest. Oh wait, no, 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 that's that, that's that one. I want to check leaf for it real quick. Okay, give me a moment. I need to check this real quick. It's important. Maybe turn off the sound effects until I get there, okay? <laughs> Because that's uh, the the noise will be so loud. <laughs> I like how just like well that was quick <laughs> to level up. Uh... Also, I don't mind the skip function in the sense that, like for the arcane river quest in the sense that I don't have to struggle on my other characters who don't have their arcane symbols uh, leveled up yet. It's just so much pain. Oh yeah, this is also my second level 200 explorer class on this account. Fun. Okay, this is not worth putting audio on for, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Okay, what is this one? Okay, I don't know what this is about. Okay, uh... I don't know what this is about, but uh, we'll deal with it later. Um, I do want to get... Uh, where's the other one? Oh. No, no, that's not what is going on. I'm just like checking quest. <laughs> like I went here for this quest. Why do people misinterpret me? <laughs> Anyways, uh, Orvis Tower. I'm trying to figure out where to go quickly. Hopefully there's no noise from the enemies because I have the sound effects on and it'll be a bit pain. Um, but also this will be like a double story quest stream because I'm gonna do the explore one here. And Ho Young's level 200. Well, not. Well, there's one level 180, but 
it's going to be the level 200 stuff. Okay. Okay, this is not really changed. There's nothing unique. So get our Echo of Hero skill. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I'm blind. Anyways, the actual, like, fifth job stuff. Because this is unique. Um, from what I know, it's unique. Uh, compared to other classes. Like, has been more extra. Okay, we do have the audio on. I was about to say. Anyways, the fifth job, uh, Call of the Erda. I think I'll read it this time. I usually don't because it's mostly the same, but since Explorer is different, I will read it. You have come far in the pursuit of rare and incredible power, but in your journeys, did you ever find yourself lost or unsure of how to proceed? We have meditated on this problem for ages, and at last we may have a solution, not just for finding power, but for sur surpassing your limits. If you are interested, come find me in the Temple of Time. And I shall. Oh yeah, and also, should probably point this out. Um, the Temple of Time quest, Seeking Memories, is different post-Destiny for Explorers as well. And that should be at the start of this video when it's uploaded. So yeah. Anyways, let's go talk. Okay, Yvonne, your reputation precedes you. I have reached out to you to share what I have discovered. There is something odd occurring in our world. Something odd? With a dramatic pause like that? Have you heard of the Erda, Erda's flow? The energy that makes up this world. Erda's? It is pronounced Erda's, right? <laughs> oh, whatever. I don't remember hearing characters say it before yet. I shall take that as a note then. Erda's are like living energy undergoing a constant cycle of creation and destruction. They are the link between Maple World and Otherworlds, being the most basic building block of reality. That sounds super important. Indeed, without the Erdas, nothing would exist. And that is why we were terribly concerned to discover that Erdas seem to be slowly disappearing. Wait, what? Disappearing? This is something you must see for yourself. Once you do, your entire perception of our world will change. Allow me to teach you the art of observing Erdas. Please, close your eyes. I feel like <laughs> this feels like also like showing off like fifth job advancement <laughs> because I had never recorded this because <laughs> when fifth job was initially released, like this, like I had a lot of trouble understanding the whole process. And the stones things, you had to fill them all with EXP before you even get your fifth job. And that was what stopped me from even getting to Arcane River for a good while. I'm glad they changed it by a lot over time because that sucked so badly because that means you couldn't get your job advancement for at least two days. <laughs> and it sucks so much. Well, it depends, but still, it's it really sucks. At least like a day. I don't know how much. Anyways. I am. Um, anybody? Can anybody hear me? Huh? This voice. I don't know where the difference is. Oh, yay! It's somebody. So, hi. I'm the... Uh, we're the Erdas. Me and my friends make up everything in the whole wide world. Isn't that neat? We used to flow through the world tree like syrup, but now that the world tree is kind of gone, the black mage has been stealing us away, little by little. It's super scary. There's like this big hand that comes out of a giant door and it's all, raw, I'm gonna take you away. I mean, it doesn't say that, because it's a hand. That's just the vibe I get. Oh wow, it's really been a while since I read any of this. <laughs> I'm reading it all because why not? Oh, nuts! We're out of time already! Quick! Do you have any questions? Make them good ones. Uh, why is the Black Mage trying to take you? I'm pretty sure the Black Mage wants to use us to create a whole new world. 
I forget how long things have been s super scary, but if it keeps up, we're all gonna be gone soon, and that means your world goes bye bye too. Uh, what exactly are you? We're energy, pure formless power propping up the whole wide world. Everything comes from us, animal, us, animal, vegetable, or mineral, and returns to us when it's, you know, done. How do I accept your power? Just believe in yourself, think happy thoughts, and talk to the goddess of your world. She's super helpful. And there's nothing else. Okay, well, I'd better get back to, um, existing. Good talking to you. Remember, the fate of all existence lies in your hands, so don't mess this up. What was that I just saw? I need to talk to the memory keeper again. Do you see now? Do you understand the importance of the Erdas? I, uh, talked to them. You spoke to the Erdas. Can this be true? I have observed the Erdas my whole life, but never have I communicated with them in any way. Also, my t I have, like, there's another dog staying in my house uh, for a while, so if there's a lot of barking, ex especially any stream after tomorrow, uh, that's probably why. There's a bunch of noise in the background. Anyways. If the artist spoke to you, then you have a grander fate than I suspected. The artist wish to give you their power so that you can protect them. That sounds sweet. How does it work? Give me a minute. I must judge if you are prepared to embrace the power of another dimension. Also, what's this noise? Whatever. Oh yeah, they removed the one thing, the quest where you have to get a hundred Star Force, I think. And Star Force 10 weapon. If so, wait, let me go read this first. If you are ready for your new power, then it is time for you to meet the goddess. According to legend, the goddesses used Erdas in the darkness of the beginning to sculpt the soul. Some say those goddesses' ability to control the Erda can be passed down. The goddesses act as the conduit between the Erda and the people of their respective worlds. I will show you the path. You will speak to them yourself. Oh, they still have the old image. Hopefully that gets updated. <laughs> the portal to- well actually it wouldn't- it doesn't update with certain classes, right? No, oh, whatever. Okay. Okay, okay, they did remove the quest. Yes! Because it was so annoying having to get a hundred Star Force back then. Ah, uh, it was the worst. I have so much final damage. How is that possible? Anyways, uh... And it sees. Oh, they also changed the Arcane Stone of Tinerium, like how you get it. Which I'm glad, and I wish I knew that beforehand, before I did the level 200 quest on my second Angelic Buster. Because that would have saved the time and getting the EXP reduction penalty. <laughs> that was pain. Okay, the portal. Oh, we have to go up. We should get something unique related to Explorers soon, so... I mean, that's what I read, like, of all of the characters, Explorers have a bit of more, uh, post-update, they have a bit of a unique scene. Yeah, considering we do know Sugar, the goddess. Okay. Where your soul can still be burned, is still burned within. <clears throat> Long time no see, Yvonne. You've grown into a full-fledged adventurer. Your wish is to- your wish to claim- you- You wish to claim the power to control the Erdos, yes? It is natural, since you yourself are of the Erdos. As we all are. If you can release this energy from within you, within you, it will unlock a new power for you to command. I shall aid you in this effort. But there's a question I wish to ask before that. A simple question. Uh, what is it that you cherish the most in this world? Friends. 
I've made many new friends and allies in my adventures. I would never have grown this strong or made so many memories without them. I want to protect my friends who are still out there exploring. Okay, not that easy to answer. Okay. Oh, Goddess, before I leave, can I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you come back as Sugar anymore? Perhaps I should answer by telling you why I appeared as Sugar in the first place. It is the Goddess's duty to protect this world. I was waiting for someone with the power to sense the Gate of Darkness and to rid Maple World of it once and for all. Someone who can... Goddess, are you saying I'm that someone? Yes, Yvonne. I have been waiting for someone just like you. And I came to witness the goodness of your heart. But not only yours, Yvonne. Multitudes from around the world are all joined together in their hearts. For the sake of the world they love. You mortals have the power to save yourselves. I help where I can, you might say. But perhaps that's enough for today, Yvonne. I have one thing to ask of you. Please don't ever forget the goodness that lives within. Aw, that's a cute little bit of job exclusive text. Oh, oh, I hear something in my head. Gotta concentrate on the voice. Wait, can I leave first? I don't want someone to level up and my ears just pass out. <laughs> I hear something in my head. Again. <laughs> Gotta concentrate on the voice. Oh, no voice acting. Warrior on the faded path. Have you still not realized where your path leads? Who are you? I am your will, as you are mine. You have awakened to your full potential. And so... This will be our last meeting. If there is anything you wish to know, I will answer. Uh, ask about the voice. I was a man who gave his heart to calm the chaos of his time, as the goddess willed. I wonder if history remembers me. Are you that legendary explorer? A legendary explorer? Is that what they call me now? I was born as an ordinary human child. I was an orphan, but I was not alone. Sugar was always beside me. Eventually, I realized who she was. But never, no matter how much we enjoyed spending time together, she always seemed sad, consumed with guilt. She'd created me to save the world, and she would have to watch me die to do it. In that tragic fate, we were both intertwined. Ask about the power. Your power flows from mine, as it flows to men and women who desire a safe, stable world and have the heart to bring it about. Uh, ask about fate. You are the one who inherited my fate. Let your good will be a torch to light the way. Is my fate to defeat the Black Mage? If the chaos of your time began with him, then yes. But how that fate transpires is up to you. My will is your will, but my choices are not your choices. I believe I've told you everything. I can. Walk the faded path with awakened power. For the chaos, long since faded, is gathering again. Oh, that's a nice, unique scene. I love that. I know I have seen some people not like the new story, and also sometimes I find that a little weird because it's like, this story's not exactly new. It's been here for half a year now, and it's like, now people are talking about it like this? It's weird. I know people be like, well, it's because it wasn't in Global. Well, it's on the wiki. You can literally read it at any time. So it's like, weird to me. But anyways, I do like it. It just gives me the, like, in my opinion, like, some parts of it, it kind of makes me think that, like, 
They purposely left gaps in so we could fill it in with our own interpretation. You know, like, oh, this is what we probably did between these quests. You know, like, <laughs> why does no one have an imagination when they talk about the lore? Why? Also, some people being like, oh, why does character trust us so easily? It's like, have you ever, <laughs> like, there is other stories that I have seen where people, where the characters trust. Like, the, the entire story happens in an actual day's time. And they're, the characters do trust them easily. But if it's in a game like this, people judge it. And I'm like, really? It's like, this isn't the first time it's happened in a game. Or a story in general. So it's weird. Anyways. I don't know if I want to read all this because it doesn't seem like it's different. But I will kind of click through it a little. Okay, the desire may help prove your strength and courage. Uh, Magnus, can you bust him? Oh, this could be fun. Okay, time to put all my buffs on. Oh my gosh, my damage. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think it's going to be mostly the same for the rest. So, I don't think I need to read it. Because it's the same. I got lag. Dogs, why are they barking in the house? <laughs> I didn't think you guys could hear it. There you go. I forgot how loud this was. <laughs> it's fine. That was quick. I knew your strength was extraordinary. There. And the last one is... Uh, is there a quick travel? Oh, I have to do the quest real quick. Okay. Uh, Yeah. I have to get this activated first before I go there. And I've done all these quests. I've attained the completion stamp, thanks, game. Okay, I've done this a few times. It's just dialogue of like the aftermath of Heroes and Maple. I hope you get more blockbuster-like events, but I guess at this point it'd be kind of weirdly out of order. But not, hopefully, I don't know. I kind of want to experience more of it. It's fun. I think like they were, Place it with like event versions that eventually be permanent now. I don't know. Why is my dog howling? I just keep hearing dogs in the background. Thankfully, they're not getting picked up by the mic. Okay. I really haven't done the storylines in so long. It's been so long since I've done the Black Heaven storyline, and it's been a, quite a while since the Heroes of Maple too that I've last did. I can imagine, like, what if I just do those playthroughs again? But at the same time, I'm like, not quite sure. I love this weapon. Looks so good. Okay. Why stuck howling? Anyways. Okay. 
table is with chaos and uncertainty. Will you help? I never said that. Fine. Okay, pass the test. Simply defeat all the monsters and return when you're done. Yeah, they changed this one, which I'm so glad they did because it was pain every single time I always did this one. Like the original version of it. I can still remember. <laughs> oh, that portal. Oh, I, ah, I see. I like it. Okay. Oh, we're done. Okay, I'm gonna unmute. Hey, you actually returned. Okay. Time to hear his message. <clears throat> okay. So, you have met with the goddesses and earned their trust. I knew you would succeed. And now let's get it. The three arcane stones will guide you to a new power. Now, close your eyes. I will awaken a new potential in your power. Wow, I haven't heard that in so long. I always play the game on mute, by the way, because I always have YouTube videos on the side. Okay. And you see the, exp the stones to put the XP. Ooh. Are these all attack ones? No, this is a buff. Okay, tiny bit of lag. That decimates all in sight. Uh. It's gonna be a bit. Ah, uh, that's a buff. That's a buff, too. I don't know where to put these on. Oh, that is so cool! That actually cut the window! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That is so cool! Telling me how to do fifth job skills. I forgot that was loud. Eh, it's fine. Oh, that really is loud. Okay, I'll, I'll mute it. <laughs> I could upgrade that. I'll be right back. I need to figure out why my dog will not shush in the background. So give me like two minutes. Okay, I have returned and also I'm kind of far away. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's mostly it of the, yeah. So if I do that quest, it's the Arcane River stuff. 
so now I want to switch to my Hoyoung character and do the rest of his story quest since I got him to level 200 already. Uh, I gotta check my manage legion thing. Ah, uh, that's fine. That's not blocking anything. I will assign this. Same way. Yeah, this. Why should I move it there? Actually, move here. Well, I'm not going to use this one. It's fine. Uh, because I'm using this one because I fill out all the bonus EXP. And also, on my account, I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 level 200 characters now. I have this number right here used to be like a bit bigger, but I'm deleting a character, so yeah. Because I replaced that character with this one now. Yay! Also, anyways, I want to... So yeah, this is going to be a multi-story related uh, stream, as well as uh, yeah. And as well as maybe some EXP grind later. Actually, let me go at least do this. Okay, do you remember Cal? KO? Yeah, KO. I'll read this when I actually do the vanishing journey in the future. Oh, I had to go to temple time. I'm not gonna do it now. Um, because the thing is, um, from knowing the upcoming updates for Global, thanks to KMS, the spring update in KMS, which will be the fall update for us, adds some additional dialogue to the Vanishing Journey. And because I want to also continue on with the Explorer event on this character, um... Oh. Game telling me. <laughs> Oh, I had to finish this quest. But, um, also because, like, <laughs> interesting enough, additional dialogue will be added to one quest in The Vanishing Journey. And that's interesting because it's like, okay, why do they do that a little bit? Um, but also at the same time, this is going to be in the fall update for Global. So, as I want to continue the getting my character leveled up, um... Yeah, I can only claim this on a new explorer, so I'll take it. Um, so because, uh, the, uh... Uh, my brain stopped working again. So basically because I want to try to see if I can get to 220 on this character, I've decided that for the Vanishing Journey, I'll create another explorer character and save that for when that update happens. That will be when I go through the Vanishing Journey. Um, uh, my, like, as a playthrough, like, of the quest line. That'll be safer then, is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay. And also, when I actually do the Vanishing Journey, we'll watch that cutscene. So, um, yeah. And so stuff like this, I'm going to save for the future around the fall update. Uh, I'm, hmm, should I do all the quest lines again? I don't know. I already skipped uh, some of them as my uh, arc. I'm kind of glad I didn't skip for my arc because my arc was all 220, still stuck in a vanishing journey because I was so low level. Like, not low level, low arcane power to do the quest line. Oh, that's a buff. I thought that was. I'm bad. Oh, 
then we'll put that there. Oh wait, I'm already done. I just had to defeat one. Yeah, they changed the requirement for this. I like the I like the additions. I don't have to suffer. Okay, arcade symbol, thank you. Ah. Oh, I should have put this on. There. So Oh, I can't trade it. Fine. It's fine. Oh, I don't have time to do this. But I'll, I'll at least do this. Oh, yeah. Before I go to my Hoyan character, I did say I would read or, like, look at the aftermath. Well, okay. Here's the thing. Um, I'm going to be reading the description of what the new Explorer Aftermath uh, quest is. Like, their cutscene. Because, uh... It's only been a few days, and I doubt anyone actually uploaded a new one, or like actually got a level 255 character. I do know that you don't have to have a. Ooh, holy sim, that's pretty lucky. I do know that you don't actually have to like you know create a new character to obviously experience a new one, but it doesn't seem like anyone's gonna do that for a while. Uh, especially me, because there's no way I could get to 255 if my highest character isn't even level 255 herself. Uh, pain. Anyways, I opened up the Orange Mushroom blog because I remember when the, the person who runs that blog made the cam- like the post talking about the update in Camus. They had, like, put- shared all the illustrations for the story. Um... And I think one, two, three, four of them, like one is the same but has a different expression. Four of them are present in the aftermath cutscene, so I want to show that as well. Because we're not gonna, we're not gonna get, uh, I can't read. We're not gonna get it for a while. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Okay, let's go mess with our node stones. Ah, that's a Kaiser. Wait, that's not it. That's not it either. I do want to put this here. Holy symbol. Cause that'll be useful. Okay. Okay. Also, lock these so they don't get. Okay, we don't need that. Okay, let's see what's good. Or decent. <laughs> Mostly decent. Where's the puncture as a primary? Did I get one? Didn't pick oh, here we go. Something like this. Oh no, dispuncture. Uh, maybe this. And this. Nothing. Assemble that. I don't like time limited node stones, they're useless. Oh, yes, this one is good. Some people will probably be like, oh, it's not that good. Well, I don't care. <laughs> oh, and then lock this. Okay, I'll figure out the rest later. It's a bit too much right now. Anyway, so, oops. Skill. Let's tab out of that because if I go onto my main and click skill, it's gonna lag very badly. Anyways. This. Okay, so it's, oh, the tears. 
Uh, okay, I'll show it in a bit, but I'm going to read the story. Oh my gosh, I had to go through this. <laughs> I forgot the scrolling is going to be a bit pain. Oh, whoops, I scrolled past into the old one. Uh, we don't care about the old one anymore that much. It's not important. I don't remember what that crossover, like, the other series was with the cat. I forgot what it was. Because <laughs> I didn't pay attention. Anyway, so... <clears throat> I'm going to read exactly as it's written on the, uh, oh well, there's quite a bit. I'm going to read exactly as it's written on the wiki for the Aftermath cutscene, the new one. Uh. Okay. So I'm going to read this exact, you know what, how about I show you guys directly with the stream display, screen display. Oh yeah, I changed my background, by the way. I know that's not important, but <laughs> this is what I want the game to be still audible. So we're going to have the, oh gosh, <laughs> I, it looks so weird. So basically this is what it says here. Um, so the aftermath cutscene, um, the new one on the wiki. This is, I don't know who edits the wiki, but I'm going to read this um, to you guys. So the aftermath cutscene, the, which is level 15. 255 in the game, which is why I'm going to read this. So, after defeating the Black Mage, Tess returned to meet Chiron, who told him that Athena had explained their family curse. Upon looking at her hand, Tess was relieved to see that the curse mark had vanished, as the Black Mage's death had broken Kirsten's curse. As they tearfully reunited, Tess asked, asked Chiron to wait for him, as he had somewhere to be. On Maple Island, Tess reunited with the Explorer, Rondo, and Olive. Just as they, they all wished that Sugar could reunite with them one last time, Sugar herself popped out of the maple tree. She told the Explorer that it had been a while since they had met in her current form, as the last time was in the Erda's flow during their quest to obtain the Arcane Stones. The others gave the two some time to themselves, as Sugar told the Explorer that she had been watching them every step of their journey and that she would continue to do so. When the explorer asked if they could meet again, Sugar told them that it would be difficult for her to manifest her current form, though she reassured them that she would always be there and asked them to come visit her again one day under the maple tree. And honestly, that is just like really sweet <laughs> to see. And also, um, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, background. And also, I don't know how this is going to show up. Uh, can I zoom this in the page? Uh, so... Okay, I can zoom it in, sort of. <laughs> uh, zoom in. Oh gosh, ah, I think I zoomed in too much. How big does this look? Okay, that's too big. <laughs> this is awkward because I never did this before, showing this on stream. So, like, there, this blog um, that I always go to um, shared, like, images. I'm, like, right before the ones that you see in the quest. So, <laughs> thanks, to, thanks to this blog, I we see, we could look at what the images look like during the Aftermath quest. Like, these are the only images. So, like, basically, from what I could tell, it's Tess coming to see Chiron and then sees that the mark is gone and... And you just have a sweet picture here. Yeah, these are just the images that show up with the quest. It's so sweet. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Let's hide that stream display, screen display now. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to show that because I don't know when someone out there will actually, um, um, actually record the story so the closest i could do with talking about it and reacting in a way is reading it exactly as whoever edited wrote the summary on the wiki um maple story wiki and show the images that were shared on the blog post um months ago also i see these people talking and i'm like what's their name wow their usernames are really guide and suggest 
It's so rare to find someone who could get a username like that these days. <laughs> um. Anyways, that was what I wanted to show. Um, before we move on to Ho Young's uh, final quest. Because I really want to show uh, his quest. And with that, I'm going to switch characters. I know this is not necessary anymore, but I'd rather you guys not see me switch characters. I have so many. <laughs> oh, whoops, I forgot something. Wait, can I delete this character yet? No, I have four hours. Uh, oops, here you go. My character with the most clever name. <laughs> it's not that clever, I just kind of came up with it on the spot. <clears throat> uh, what is it? Oh yeah, maybe sir. I'm forgetting my own stream scenes. Anyway, so we have my character here. There is, whoops, there is story quest as well. However, the last one's not available because I have to do the one before it first. So, yeah, so it's sealing the fiends savage terminal is the one quest I didn't do yet. I have done like some of the other quests which is basically sealing the fiends as well. But uh, yeah. So I'm gonna be doing these last remaining quests on Ho Young. After so long, seriously, I've done this like ages ago. <laughs> but uh, I never leveled to Ho Young to 200. <laughs> so now we're gonna do it. Okay, so first off, we have the level 180 quest, and then after that should be the 200, unless there's a 190, I don't know. So, Sealing the Fiends. Oh my gosh, it's been so long, which is why I'm gonna combine it with this video, <laughs> because the quests are short, so, yeah. Hmm, I sense something, Tiger Child. What is it? A new fiend? Is it close by? A fiend, yes. But this time, what I, I sense lies in Grandis, not Maple World. Grandis? It's been a while since we've been back, huh? Why you still give chase, even across the border that separates the two worlds? The Tautie used its power and for a moment I felt light swell around me, like I was being pulled into another place. Oh, this is loud. Ugh, what's with all this trash? It wasn't this bad last time I passed this way. You think that scrapyard outside of town has something to do with it? I cannot say, but I do know what manner of fiend would likely choose to dwell in the scrapyard. Don't leave me hanging. What monster is it? You'll see for yourself soon enough. <sighs> I want to finish up and get out of here as soon as I can. This place just doesn't jive with me. Is that even a word? I don't know. How am I supposed to know? I don't. Retrieve the Tessier's, I guess, soul. I can see the monster's shadow beyond the distorted space. Should I head in right now? Well, yes, we're doing all the quests. Damn it, I hate clean air. Shower me with filth. Rivet. More, more. Give me more. It's a spirit that seeks out the grimiest, most disgusting place it can find. It has lived so long in such envi environs that it has become the very essence of filth itself. Ugh. The smell seeping into my nostrils. It's like being hit with a mallet made of warm, spoiled cottage cheese. I just want to leave. That's gross. Feed the monster to drive out the thing. I forgot how to play Ho Young. <laughs> it's been so long. I have not played this character in months. How I got to level? I don't know. <laughs> I used level up potions. Okay. Where's the quest? Oh, here we go. Okay. Wait, does this mean you're weak to filth? 
I grew up surrounded by clean air and water, so places like this seem extra disgusting. Now that we did what we came to do, I want to get out of here. Be sure to let me know when you sense the next monster nearby. Is there a... Okay, there is a 190 quest. Wait, did I do that? No, I probably didn't. Please tell me I can still go here. Okay, so we do have a 190 quest. Wait, can I double check? Yeah. Final damage goes from 1% to 10. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Oh, I almost clicked that quest, though. Okay. Ataltia is calling for me again with news about some new fiend or monster. Should I go where it, is, where it tells me? Well, yeah. Ataltia used its power and for a moment I... Okay, again. Oh, we're in an area where... Uh, please tell me there's no enemies. Oh, it's just so quiet. Why is Savage Terminal so loud? A fiend lurks nigh. The aura is unmistakable. <laughs> Sniffs. What is there to smell here? I thought I smelled something that smelled kind of like me. It's hard to explain. Oh yeah, the anima people. But maybe I'm just imagining things. You can stop and sniff wherever you, whatever you'd like later. Once we have dealt with this monster. Yeah, yeah, fine. Okay, we sense some shadow. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> Is that an insect cocoon? It's a cocoon monster, in the process of maturing into an adult insect fiend. But this one is a bit strange. All the monsters you ate were strange. What's especially weird about this one? I think it would be faster if you asked it directly. You are the Tautier, aren't you? I am indeed a king among fiends. Ah, I almost didn't recognize you. You used to be much larger and far more imposing. Why, you little? Huh. Ugh. Anyway, where are your brothers? Brothers? Indeed, there are three, and they're seldom seen apart. I'm afraid I lost them when I fell here. As you can see, we're not the bravest of spirits, which prevents us from going out in search of each other. Because of the strength of their bond, I cannot devour just one. All three must be present. That's where I come in. Sage Ho Young, voted number one in spirit satisfaction. At your service. I, I, I don't have the first idea where they might have ended up. Leave the tracking to me. If I found you, surely I will find them. Ah, uh, okay, there's no voice acting in these, so it's fine. Uh, just this once. Who are you? I am but a simple wanderer. The important thing is, I'm here to reunite you with your brothers. So come with me. It's a weird story. I'll fill you in on the way. Understood. I hope they're all right. That makes one. Now let's seek out the others. Okay, please stop attacking me. I want to break. They're so cute though, by the way. The cuckoo monster is too bad they have to... Yeah. <sighs> Pain. Oh, I don't... I can't do things. It's fine. Is that you, younger brother? It is indeed. How good it is to see you safe. The cocoon monsters were glad to see each other safe and shared a teary-eyed reunion that was equal parts odd and heartwarming. I'd better hurry and find the last missing brother. Follow me. I'll take you to your other brother. Thank you. You're very considerate for a non-monster, you know. I'm deceased. <laughs> oh, why did they put the glass in the middle of all that? 
Uh, we're not getting EXP anyway, it's fine. It's pain. Okay, we're back here now. Why did they think of not, like, getting safety <laughs> areas? Oh, whatever. Okay, let's go. Brother! I'm glad to see you're safe. The three cocoon monsters shared stories of what had happened to each of them. They seemed to regard each other with a genuine warmth, which caught me by surprise. Seeing them chatting away, chattering away like that reminds me of how he used to ramble on and on to Master. He's, he always worried for me. He's always worried for me. And he'd always listen when I wanted to talk. It really puts my mind at ease to see everyone safe and sound. We want nothing more. We are satisfied. We will return to Tao Tia's stomach. That's weird. I think he's supposed to be, like, consuming them. Or what? I thank you for reuniting me with my brothers. Oh, did they just combine into one or something? Oh, uh, whatever. Okay. Yeah, just spawn me at the bottom with all the enemies that are so loud. Yeah, that's not gonna annoy me a little bit. <laughs> Anyways. Ah, nothing like a nice tasty soul. Another amazing performance by a certain excellent sage, I'd say. Hmm. I suppose that in some perverse way I may come to miss your buoyant buffoonery someday. Huh? What are you talking about? We have traveled far, seeking and capturing all manners, manner of fiends. But the next will be the last. I will speak of it more when the time comes. When at last I sense its essence. The last monster? I should feel happy about that. So, why don't I feel kind of sad? I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean... Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's been so long, I don't remember. And the last quest is above her head. According to the Tautier, the last fiend lurks in the broken corridor in the Temple of Time. I'd better head there. I've prepared as much as I can, so now's the time to put it to the test. I'll swoop in on the Nimbus Cloud and announce myself as a monster catching marvel. It's been a long, long journey, but here we are. This is the last fiend. Once Taltier devours it, we're done. <sighs> And that's how it's done. Ugh. Tautier, you feeling all right? My power returns. And he's back in his true form. I've got to admit, He's a scary dude. It's easy to forget after all this time he spent as that angry little red ghost. So, so big guy, what's next? Come on! You don't have to shake the whole place apart! We are not alone. Huh? Is there another fiend around here? Indeed. It is no fiend that I have devoured. But it seems... familiar. So, uh... What is it, exactly? I do not know. But I will soon. It is nearly upon us. Fine. That's fine. If it wants to tangle with us, I'll give it the whole young special. This is no laughing matter. <gasps> it's you? Long time no see, 
investigator? Y yeah, it's been a while. You aren't surprised to see me here, are you? This ain't exactly the sort of place I'd go to meet old friends. Good point. I guess I owe you an explanation. This isn't about my debt, is it? I swear, I'm paid up in full. No, no. This isn't about your debt. Well, not that debt. Did I ever tell you I'm a collector? Not of cards or toys or anything like that. No, I collect monsters. There's this one monster I've had my eyes on for ages. But then some dummy had to go and snatch it out from under me. Let me guess. I'm the dummy. I admit, I have been catching a lot of monsters lately. But if you were after one of those monsters, then... I'm afraid my buddy here already ate it. Sorry. Jeez, you really are dense. Excuse me? You didn't know what you had, or what it was worth when you discovered Tautier. Tautier deserves someone who won't hesitate to unleash its destructive power on this stupid world! So, won't you hand it over to me? Pretty please, with a cherry on top? I gotta admit, you're even more messed up than I thought. Is that what Tautier is to you? Tautier is a monster, sure. Yeah, he's a nightmare. I'll even admit that he's a blight on humanity. But above all that, Tautier is a friend. Huh? <sighs> you're really going to make me do this, aren't you? I hope your friend is worth your life. I, I can't move! Uh, I I can't see. Something's draining my life force. Why do you resist her? And let you fall into her grubby fingers? No way. If you have time to judge me, you have time to help. I may have my power back, but I am still trapped inside your body. But perhaps there is something I can do. She's obviously using another of the four perils against you. I can cancel out its power. I cannot guarantee that you will survive if I do, though. I don't exactly have any other options here. Very well. Prepare yourself. Ready when you are. <laughs> Who's a dummy now, dummy? You think this changes anything? I can keep this up all day! You look like you can barely stand. Uh. Huh? M master y you I can't leave my favorite pupil at the mercy of such a wicked creature. An actual sage? There's no need to draw this out. I suggest you give up now. As if I'd lose to your spirit projection. Suit yourself. Ultimate sage skill, 36th stratagem! Oh no. Oh yeah! Run away! <laughs> Get back here, you cowards! Why'd you have to go and make this so difficult? Oh, no voice acting. Uh, we're back at the Hermitage. And it's real this time, not something in a dream. Ah, uh, so you're finally awake. Uh, this place looks nice. Final act.
What are you doing here, Master? My master explained that before I leaving on his journey, he implanted a copy of his soul inside me. In case I ever landed myself in real trouble. It was... a lot to take in. Where have you been all this time? What have you been doing? I cannot divulge that. At least, not at this present time. Why didn't you come back? I am sorry, Ho Young. It was not my intent to leave you to fend for yourself. Huh. <sighs> I could have really used your advice during all of this. Listen well, Ho Young. A great darkness looms over the outside world. You've probably felt it yourself to some degree. The reality of it is harsher than even the stories you may have heard. Even having some idea of the troubles that might await you, you still ventured outside the realm of the sages. But what would you choose if you had that choice between you again? I mean, before you again. What do you mean by that? You're not chasing fiends now, trying to cover your own mistake, so you can decide with a clear head and heart. And so I ask you now, will you leave this hermitage and live in the outside world? I guess so. Strange as it might sound, I still want to face the world, troubles and all. Sure, I may make a colossal blunder every now and then, and suffer when things don't go my way. But even knowing that... This world is hurting, deep down, and I feel like the people there really need me. And there's nothing quite like helping people who have nowhere else to turn. I feel like I'm ready- I'm really making a difference. I know that'll put me in harm's way sometimes. But I can't go back to those idle days where I didn't know what was at stake. If that is your choice, then I shall pray for your safety, my dear Ho Young. This apparition will soon disappear, and my nagging with it. Go be on your own for the foreseeable future. Uh, already? Don't leave, Master. There's so much I want to tell you. I'm just a spiritual projection. And I can't maintain that forever. So don't be stubborn, my pupil. Let's part ways here with a smile. Fine, fine. But you better not forget that souvenir when we meet again, for real. Besides, I want to read the tales of Tai Yu with you, just like old times. <laughs> You've grown so much, but in some ways, you'll always be the child I raised. I'll look forward to reading those old stories with you again. As for a souvenir, how about I just give you this instead? Master pulled out a scroll from within his robe and held it out to me. Could this be... A new spellbook? When did you... I look forward to seeing your progress in the ways of the sage when we meet again. And give my regards to the Tautier. You'll have to tell me all about how you befriended such an... Ordinary old fellow. <laughs> it's a long story. Huh. Master is gone. I never expected your master would be him, of all people. Huh? You know my master? Know him? He's the one who sealed me away! But the one who sealed you in the legends was... Wait, are you telling me Master is THE Master Tai Yu? Are you serious? The guy I've idolized ever since I first heard his stories? I feel so excited, but weirdly disappointed too. Maybe I was better off not knowing that. If I had known you were a student of his, I would have ground you into paste. <laughs> you can just admit you like me at least a little bit. I won't tell the other monsters you've gone soft. Why, you little... Hey, don't knock me for telling the truth! You, you got your full power back in your big buff form, but you're still showing up as that cute little ghost. What's that all about? I, I came to appreciate the stealthiness of a smaller form. That's all. Right. Anyway, we've been through a lot these last few months, but the journey always leads just beyond the new horizon. Ain't that right, Tautier? I 
have no intention of partnering with you, but I would rather travel the world in your shadow than be sealed away for another age. You can stop pretending we're not really partners, you know. Think of the tales they'll tell of the great sage Ho Young who saved the world with the power of one of the legendary four perils. We'll be celebrities. <laughs> now you're claiming to wield my powers your own? Even a thousand years of training wouldn't make you a vessel fit to host my unbridled might. You sure? Because now you've given me something to shoot for. Better be ready to eat those words. How about we place a little wager on just how long it'll take? I'd better call the Nimbus Cloud, because we've got places to be to go. Okay. That was the last... Oops. That was... Oh, wait. There's still a little bit left. I've got that scroll master gave me here. Is it a letter? A new spell? The only way to know is to open it. Is this actually a spell? Oh, there's something written under it in master's handwriting. I look forward to the day I get to hear all the tales of your journey. Just you watch. I'll become a sage who can stand equal to you. Master Tai Yu. I hope you're looking forward to our new next meeting, because I know I am. Ah, what does this metal look like? Oh, it looks like that. Now we have this now to move everything here. Okay, and that's it. Uh, let me get out of here. Wait, let me go do that. Yeah, let me go do this first. I'm not gonna do... I'm not gonna do the whole thing yet. Um, I just wanted to teleport out of that area. So yeah, that is all of Ho Young's uh, story quest. Yeah, it apparently took like two... And a, how many years? Three-ish years to finally cover this final part of his story. I know he didn't cover some of the quests, but it's mainly the sealing the fiends, and there hasn't been many uh, unique uh, dialogue with that. Well, I mean, there is a bit of unique dialogue, but there's no voice acting, so I thought there was like, uh, should I? Nah. So, yeah. Oh yeah, we got this. Ah, it's good. And I, it's only been like roughly an hour now, so I think I'll also, also continue. Because I did say maybe AXP grind if there's some time left over. And that is what I'll do. I'm looking at my stats on my character. Gosh, I haven't played a whole young in ages. Anyways, I'm gonna switch to my main real quick, and we'll get back to whatever I'm doing. I forgot to mute the sound effects. Oops. It's fine. After so long, I finally did that quest. Ugh. I'm also getting hungry. It is like 12, so it makes sense. Uh, removed sound effects. So yeah, I am level 248 with 36% EXP. And today we're gonna... Well, now, today, I'm going to continue the grind. I have so many chairs, please don't ask. I have a couple of these, I forgot. I am thanks to the power of quick travel I could do this. Oh gosh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed my Windows key, not the actual. Okay, there. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Let's 
gonna use one of these. And I'm not gonna be here for two hours, that's the thing. No totem today, because uh, I would have to... Yeah, I would have to use it for two hours. I'm not gonna do this for two hours. It'll probably be for an hour and I'll be done. Or close to, to one and a half. But basically, I'm just gonna slowly gain more XP. Yeah, so, yeah. Too much added to the Explorer storyline at level 200, but there is a new, obviously, a new Temple of Time quest. And unlike the other ones, I think, I actually don't know about, like, Kane or the other characters 100%. I say Kane specifically because I thought there would be voice acting there, but I had it muted, so I didn't know. But it seems that, uh... Yeah, so the new Explorer one has voice acting in it, and it's basically... Oh, well, yeah. You meet Olive, and you talk about memories um, in that quest. And, uh, what else? Yeah, and outside of that, we do have the bit of story. Um, at the level 200, which is a little more unique compared to other classes. And, um, like the fifth job related stuff, not like level 200 quest or anything. And, uh, what else? And then after that, I did go on the wiki and I showed the wiki, like the exact text written on the wiki as of this date, um, right now. Um, what's it? June 20th. Just in case, like, there's gonna be, like, a bit more editing on there. Um, and also show the images that, uh, was shared on, uh, the blog post. The Orange Mushroom blog. It's really sweet images. Because it's, it's the pirate siblings. I'm calling them that. Pirate family, pirate siblings. Like, after... Who knows how many centuries, like, the curse is broken, and it's like, aww. Yeah, the image is, like, basically after, like, the defeat, like, he came to see his sister to confirm that the curse is indeed gone, and it's like, aww. It's like, they finally get to interact without the fear of the curse being activated. Uh, I'm, I'm seriously so weak when it comes to family tropes. I did say it already, but like what I, I remember like when it like like for example I watched like Clanet After Story years ago and I already explained it. I'm not gonna repeat myself since I explained this in my last stream. Long story short, one part of the entirety of After Story was when I just started crying so much. Cause yeah. And I remember it well because I was actually sick around that time. <laughs> and, uh, that's... Yeah, that's how I remember it well. Because I was crying, but my throat hurt, so it was, like, painful to, to cry back then. Um. But yeah, I'm not gonna explain the story again, because I don't want to repeat myself that much. Oh, yeah, and also, uh, yeah, Kaling being evil. <laughs> Obviously, I knew that for a while, because, you know, we have the Yum Yum Island... Yum Yum Island story at the end, and then we also have Lara's story, right? It's like, what is Kaling anyway? That's a bigger question. I do know that based on the, uh, advertising of, like, the, the announcement stuff for, uh, the next update in KMS, I do know that... Uh, thanks. <laughs> anyway, 
Anyway, so like Cowling, the character who is uh, revealed to be evil chronologically, like release-wise, through uh, first through um, Ho Young's story. Yeah, I do know that based on the KMS, uh, like next update from like the announcement stuff, I do know that Cowling reappears in the next in the new area in that update. Like, I know she's men she'll be mentioned in the story that'll be in Global Maple Story. This update. But the next one after Destiny, which Camus is getting soon. Like, she's gonna appear again in that story, I think. Also, hello, raiders. I really get raids, so... <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Basically, I finished doing some story quest stuff on um, level 200 characters, and now I'm on the grind for more EXP on my main character main here. Yeah, I just have like about less than 400 billion until the next level. No big deal. Uh, it takes so long. Also, I don't have like a totem on because I'm not going to be doing this for two hours today. I'll just be doing this for like an hour or something. Well, at least try to stay in the burning fields that are... Um, give me a lot of EXP. What I do know with like EXP and stuff in this game is that if you're closer in level with the enemy, like, at least like the best is, like, at least one level away. Like, low, one level below the enemy. You get a lot of EXP. Oh, it's one of these. Also, I'm making sure I do all these kinds of things because I get even more EXP. At this point, I'm kind of EXP crazy on my character. <laughs> so I really want to be 250 by a certain point. Uh, also, another thing is that I, I really want to see the next storyline, like, so much, but I had to be level 270, and it's like, ah, yes, well, let me just casually level to that point, which is clearly impossible for me, as this is my highest level on the, my entire account. Like, I'm glad that people are recording it, like, if they can, but still, it's like, please... I'm just thinking about the next storyline now. I do know that obviously there have been people who uploaded Hotel Arcus, and I did watch uh, videos on that already. Because I obviously won't be able to get to that level anytime soon. But it's like, I'm not sure about the other ones. Uh, I haven't seen anything about like the tower thing yet. I think people are waiting until it's in English first. I'm trying to think of what else to talk about. Uh, I mean, other than the fact that my brain is like, wow, it took me this long to finally finish Ho Young's storyline. <laughs> because I created my Ho Young character when the class was, character class was first released, and I said, oh, I'm gonna make sure I get to level 200. And I didn't, because it, I got lazy. <laughs> so it took this long for me to finally level that character to 200. Because I was lazy. Callus Carrot Tower. I must I mustn't want to see the car whatever it's gonna be pronounced. The tower. I just call it the tower because I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I mustn't want to see the story of that because I know T-Boy, whose name is Nikki, um, is like he shows himself without his helmet in that storyline. I really want to see him again, actually in the story. <laughs> Like, on the 
wiki. Like, whoever edits the wiki, I don't know which group of people do, but whoever edits the wiki um, added a, his NPC art that appears in that storyline, and <laughs> that's how I know what he looks like. Well, it's kind of obvious in a way, based on hints that he obviously would look like his sister. But still. Oh, and speaking of T-Boy's sister, Senya. I like how when I went on the wiki to check, like, how many, like, if, like, she had any, like, number of NPC art. And she only has, technically it's five, but it's mostly four. Not counting the silhouette. And I'm like, I look at her sprites, and because of how many she has, she is the most expressionless villain in this entire game, I think. I don't know if there's other characters, but... Like, it makes me not like her because I'm like, I hate that sinister smile on her face so much. <laughs> and then you have her brother, T-Boy, who's at least more human, literally, um, than her. And he has so many NPC arts that just is his expressions. Uh, also, according to the next storyline, his status is unknown. And I'm like begging like please don't please don't do anything bad to t-boy please let him live seriously maple story does not need any more brothers or siblings kind of having tragedy like please oh yeah to anyone who pays attention to the lore has anyone noticed that siblings in maple story never have happiness it's <laughs> like any well i mean except for tess and kyron um after the black mage's defeat but <laughs> Anyone notice that trend with siblings in Maple Story? <laughs> it's like if you you're a sibling with someone, it's like, well, there's no guarantee happiness. Sorry. <laughs> like I noticed that like when I was just like on the when I was just looking through the wiki and kinda like like from seeing like the situation between T Boy and Senya, I realized that like in Maple Story it's like, what is with this game and siblings? Never being happy with each other. <laughs> so you have Orchid losing Lotus, Demon losing Damien, Senya bullies her own brother and other sibling. I don't know about the other sibling. Um, but she just like insults T Boy and it's just like, how dare you? And also you have like Tess and Chiron cursed and forced to separate because of the curse. And what else? Is it? Oh yeah, and there's Nineheart and Lilin who have like a very troubled situation. What else? Who else is siblings in this entire thing? I don't, I don't remember, it's been a while. <laughs> I Those are all the siblings I can name from the top of my head. Um, it probably is, like, more that I haven't brought up, but, uh, those are the ones I remember. Oh yeah, Maple Story and siblings, it's never happy. <laughs> it's like, it's never happy. <laughs> Unless you're Tess and Chiron, whose curse is finally lifted post, uh, Aftermath. I mean, post Black Mage defeat. spawn faster I know again I could use the the thingy the totem but I don't want to use it today not today I will do it on my own time I do want to at least just try to get more exp I, I keep forgetting that with this update a, a number of classes in this game now have a vertical jump I keep forgetting that because like it's something that you're like you don't really have on um, muscle memory or something. 
Because by muscle memory, I just use the uh, grappling hook thing rather than vertical jump. I should make use of the vertical jump. what is going to be involved with the area after the tower. Um, Odium, I think, is the name. I can't wait to see what that's about. Um, like, the story in there. Because according to the story and the, the tower story... Oh, I can't forget. Well, it's not like forgetting a name. I can read it in chat there. I just, I can't pronounce it because I don't know what it's pronounced. But, um, I... I'm curious about Odium, because based on the tower's story, like, T-Boy brings up that, uh... That, like, if we... if our... if us, the character, has, like, is, wants to learn more about Darmor's skull, we go to Odium. Ka wrote. Is that what I'm doing? Okay. <laughs> I'll probably say it like that, too, because I've been just, like, wondering, it's like, how do you pronounce this? Anyway, it's like, T-Boy says something in, like, in, like, to, like, the, going to Odium would help our character as well as the other characters learn more about, like, Darmor's goal, I think. Based on the summary of the story I read on the, <clears throat> on the wiki. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Like, on the wiki, for some reason, the page is now linked to the category of the tower, for some reason. Um... But apparently, the th it, it is on there. It's on the wiki. You just have to type it into the search and... Find the one that says the name of the tower, like the full name of it, and slash story. That's how I found the page. I and also can't wait for the Ellen Forest to be revamped. Because, um, obviously with the changes to the Explorer storyline, the, um, Ellen Forest is outdated, as well as Chaos story. And that's gonna be in the fall update for Global. And also around that time, I will actually record the Vanishing Journey story. The reason I'm not doing it now is because they kinda add some additional text, and I kinda wanna see it, even though it's probably, like, three lines of dialogue, possibly. <laughs> I don't care how different it is. I'm just gonna actually go through it on so many characters. Uh. <clears throat> I really can't wait to see this tower storyline, even though I obviously won't be able to play it. <laughs> for, like, so long. Hey, seriously, the area after that is going to be requiring level 275. And I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> uh, this is why I'm at the point where I'm just reading summaries or watching YouTube videos. I guess I'm like, I cannot get to that level. Uh, it's why, like, when I finally, when I finally did the Moonbridge story, like, through normal leveling on this character, I'm like, if y'all want to see me go through the next two areas, good luck. <laughs> I just, I just flat out say that. So I'm like, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> uh, I'm just like, good luck. I am not going to get there for like quite a while. Uh, but in all seriousness, I do want to be 250 already. I am counting by how much billions of EXP I have, as well. So, like, at the moment I have 230 billion, um, and I need 609 billion for the next level. And every single day I'm getting a certain amount of EXP. So, like, based on the, how much, e like, the billion count is, Cause that's like the easiest way I'm ever able to grind. I mean, the alternative is kind of reading the percent and getting enough EXP, but 
it's easier to read the other number because I'm like, I think I would suffer a bit if I just stare at the percent number instead. <laughs> well, I do have totems, but I don't want to use one today because I'm not going to stream for very long um, grinding. Since, like, the totems are two hours, I don't want to do this for two hours and waste it. Also, I kind of do this a lot from just, uh, doing my dailies and the event stuff. Also, I did kind of consider using Antona, but I, but like, since I did do storylines today, um, it's already, it was like an hour and 20 minutes when I finished the two storylines. Um, I wanted to wrap up. Actually, the quest specifically, not the storylines overall. Um, and because I don't want to stream for too long, like at least like just only an hour longer, I'm not using a totem. Yeah. I do have days where I do um, grind, EXP grind sessions, which usually are two hour streams. Oh, I should change the map soon. Yeah. And usually in those uh, sessions that I do, like a VXP grinding on stream, I usually just talk about a bunch of stuff. So like, for example, last time, I talked a lot about like, what's like my plans for how I'm gonna stream, record uh, Destiny update stuff. And uh, yeah. And I even uh, like was looking through the blog post about um, the update after Destiny? Not Ignition, the one between Destiny and Ignition. And, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna switch the map. Okay, this is a little 10 area, good. I am still not over that, like, my first stream on doing the Explore storyline. I'm lucky that the issues didn't happen when I was actually going through the quest. But outside of the quest, my mic started glitching out. And I don't actually know the specific reason why it happened. But my personal guess for why it did is because my computer needed to update. And... It was being affected by that. Um, the computer being like, Hey, you're supposed to update. Because <laughs> I su was supposed to update my graphics card, like, the night before, but I forgot because it was really late. And then I forgot, and so that probably affected it a little bit. <laughs> I just had a hard photos and not have to think about stopping the job for better chips. I don't like when I have issues that I can't tell from my own stream. It's like, because obviously when you're streaming, you don't obviously hear yourself play back, so... Uh. what else to talk about. Oh yeah, there's one, like, sort of unrelated thing, but like, I've been thinking about it ever since recent events happened, and part of me kind of want to play through Ilium's story on stream, like up to 200 and all that. I don't think there's much for a level 200 quest, but I still want to do it. Um, um, like, part of the reason- there's like two reasons. Like, one, I haven't done it yet, and because, like, I haven't really seen playthroughs of it on y YouTube. Like, I looked up, like, playthroughs of it, and there's- there's not many. Um... 
Especially one of like clearer quality or like clear as, as possible quality. <clears throat> My throat. And the other reason is because one of the voice actors for Elium uh, recently passed away and I kind of want to play through the quest line um, to hear uh, Elium's voice again. And also like a sort of like in memory kind of thing. I don't want to go talking about all that again. I sort of talked about it in my last stream, like, briefly at the end. Like, I sort of didn't plan to talk about stuff like that. Um... Yeah, the voice actor for me, Elium. Yeah. Not just Elium, I think based on, like, the credits, uh, by, like, the GMS community manager, like, confirmed by the community manager, I think. Also voiced additional characters in um, Kadena's storyline. One character in Kane's storyline. Um, two characters, at least two of them, in Grand Athenaeum episode six, and the uh, and Darmor slash Aaron in the Neo Adversary cutscene. Yeah. I talked about it a bit, uh, in my last stream, which I didn't plan to a bit, but since it was fitting the mood of how I got emotional from Tessa's past, I kind of ended up talking about it, um, on stream. Uh, I just, I don't want to talk about it too much again. I, even, I didn't even know he was Elium for, like, probably a good long time. Um, I don't know how long, but I think, depending on when Celsa worked up uh, was announced, I think it was one of the first roles I've heard from him. Uh, <clears throat> before, like, um, the dubs of, like, all these other stuff came out. I, even if I want to do Elim's story, it's not going to be anytime soon because I actually want to start a Let's Play soon on a completely different game. And depending on how things go, I'm starting a Let's Play on Friday because that's when the game comes out. So for like a few streams, I'll be focused on that. And then after that will be when I do some other things. I need XSVA to do more as Magnus. Magnus screen time is just please no. My twelve. Oh my god, has it been that long since the n oh my twenty twelve? Oh my god. Has it been that long since like Kaiser was released? Oh my gosh. I'm just, I'm, all, I'm still always going to be shocked by how long ago certain updates were. Because I've had this Angelic Buster since the release of Angelic Buster as a class. And that's already nine years ago. Uh, has it been so long? Also, I personally wish that, like, uh, the male Kaisers... Okay, I don't know about female Kaiser, but I want male Kaiser's voice to be changed, honestly. Like, for the voice acting in this game, I'm pretty much okay with the majority of it. But the one voice, if I had to, like, like criticize, is, like, Kaiser's voice. Like, it's like, it's, it's, a, it's also a weird case, because the voice... The voice only fits with the old Kaiser, the one in the flashback. <laughs> but the new one doesn't fit him at all. 
I'm like the new Kaiser voice. Uh, no. Eh. No, the voice that is also the same for the newer Kaiser, Kyle. Um, like, I wish it's different because Kyle is meant to be like a teenager or like, like 19 probably in age. And it doesn't fit. I'd say 19, 17, 19 because that's how, what I always interpret uh, Kyle and Tyr's age. Um, in this game. Because they're like pretty young and they're always referred as like young, so. It's like of all the class voices, like that's the one voice that I wish was changed. Because like it doesn't fit him. I remember when I first heard it, I'm like, it's a cool voice, but then you have to remember how old the character you're playing as is supposed to be, like roughly, and it's like it doesn't fit. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Um. Also, hmm. I really want to be level 250 so much. And then it will be the pain to get to 255 and then beyond that. Okay. Also, like, another thing I think about um, as well is that, like, nice to see like revamps happen and all that but i'm hoping that like story-wise the here the hero legends in this game get like their stories revamped a bit at least like their actual story quest stuff because like every single time i think about it like Aaron and evan's stories are so outdated and they really need rework so badly but of course, currently next in Camas is the Cygnus Knights getting a bit of like revisioning and stuff. But hopefully next is the Hero Legends. Like I'm like, please, please, can you, these uh, developers, please focus on fixing up their stories so it's not so outdated anymore. Like I guess they could keep some pieces in, but it's like, can you, it's like, can it be like better or something? I don't know if that makes sense. That were in friends. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I should probably also mention I don't really pay too much attention with how much is being changed with the skills because whenever a new update happens and it's like, oh look at all these skills that are changed, I don't read it. I just go into the game and try to figure out how things work. Like every single time there's like changes to an angelic buster, I'm like, oh cool. Doesn't read the post. I never read it. That's because it's mostly just a lot of text like, oh, this skill does this, and it does this much damage, blah blah blah, and it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna guess it, like... <laughs> My brain, how it works with it, it's like, well, if it still does big damage numbers, and it's like really quick and fun to use, that's all I care. <laughs> it's like, text, nah. Well, unless it's actual story dialogue, not skills. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oops. I'm trying to press my skill keys. Gosh, I hate when I misread my keyboard and I press the wrong keys. Because my hand is like slightly moved over or something. I pressed the wrong key. Oh, you know what? Right, speaking of signet sites, I have, like, obviously, Mihail is a uh, character class and all that. 
And I will say, I haven't played as my Mihao character since I reached level 79 on him. And ever since then, I have not leveled or done anything with that character since. <laughs> like, even with them changing stuff, like, over, like in separate updates or something. Like, I didn't do anything <laughs> um, with uh, that character class in a long, long time. Thanks for the follow. I just reminded myself I'm so sad. I, I forgot to draw more um, notification stuff. Not to be fair, like I, yeah, same chatting with you. Okay. Um, I have to get more notification, like, I, like, images drawn, but I think, like, I've always been on and off with art. Okay. I've always been on and off with art, and especially with recent stuff, like, uh, like, my motivation has been, like, down a bit. But I have been recovering pretty well now, so... I'm technically back to drawing again, but now I'm getting distracted by a different video game on the side, so I'm like, I need to get myself time to draw. It hurts. <sighs> it's so annoying that my throat's been sort of hurting since yesterday. Like, early yesterday. Partially because the night before yesterday, I didn't... I think I didn't drink enough water, and then my throat just, like, went bad. And I'm like, how could I forget something so essential? Buffs is gone, the potions. I will end the session. Also, I'm reminding myself I really want to watch a movie again. Uh, <laughs> I, should I should seriously look up what the is called. And then my brain stopped working again. Why does it happen? <laughs> it's like, there's this one movie I want to watch again, but of course recent events will make it a bit tough to watch it again. But since I'm feeling a lot better, I think I can manage now, um, since I did, like, listen over Elium's lines recently. Um... But even if I do want to watch a movie, I still have to try to figure out this, like, should I watch the prequel shorts or something before or after the movie? Because I already watched the movie once. I keep forgetting to look that up. I'm like, why am I like this? <clears throat> Well, not really that close. I'll try to get to 240 billion. I don't think it's easy to see on the stream, but I'm like a tooth. Okay, give me a second. Okay, like 237 billion EXP now. I oh, still quite a while until the next level. It's fine. I just really want to be the next level so badly. <laughs> oh god, my leg. Ow! I can't feel my leg. Oh wait, did I say yesterday when I was talking about last stream? I hope I didn't. I probably did. But when I meant last stream, the last stream was like Friday. 
I hope I didn't make it sound like it was yesterday. And I'm, I'm telling myself in my head to cha change how I'm sitting because I'm like, ah, on a chair. <laughs> I am not overhearing Ilium Slimes again recently because I found like the SoundCloud by just one person who did like kind of like got the files of the voices in the game and shared them on there at some point and that's how and I and I found that page to listen to Ilium Slines male Ilium it's nice to hear those lines but also some of them <laughs> like it's been a while since I did the story but some of them like are not best hearing out of context I'm like, oh, this is awkward. It's not that bad, but it's like without the context, it's it's questionable. <laughs> I gotta keep in my leg. Okay, I'm almost at the 240 mark. I just want to be closer. At this point, like, with this character, I'm just, like, taking every crumb of EXP because I just really want to be the next level. Like, it's so, it's just strange. Like, I want to level up quickly, but also at the same time, no, because, you know, the arcane symbol stuff. I'm not even maxed them out yet. But also at the same time, it's like, I get that they make it more grindy past like 200 because they want players to actually level their arcane symbols. Um, if they're new, but also it's so tough. Okay, fixing my leg, ow. So, uh, what else? I already had the rest of my the week in terms of streaming planned as well. Um, oh yeah, and also I'm doing a stream today. Monday is actually not my usual stream day. It's usually Tuesday, Thursday, and sometimes Fridays. <clears throat> I'm doing one today because tomorrow I might not be able to stream because of, uh, you know, people coming over and also a dog, um, as well. And yeah, mainly that. Also Thursday, I kind of want to do a Genshin stream, like on the Hangout event that should be available tomorrow evening for my time. And then, uh, <coughs> <coughs> and 
then what else? Uh, oh yeah, and then Friday will be, hopefully, the start of a new Let's Play. If not, then I do something else that day. Or no stream at all. Hopefully, okay, it depends because the game is going to be released on that same day on Steam. I mean, NA, um, EU uh, fans won't be able to play it until next month. Because of, like, delay with the copies or something? Physical copies? I think the release is still the same for the NA, so... I'll be able to play it on Friday, obviously with spoilers, uh, like, spoiler tag, like, crazy, because... Um... To keep people from... Like, because, like, the one rule with this, with the recording and stuff with the game is that, like, make sure you're saying, oh, there will be spoilers, because, you know, the usual, like, um, usual thing, like, be mindful of spoilers. <coughs> My throat. Yeah, my throat's bad. I'll drink some water. all the the mesas on the ground because uh I, I need to upgrade these symbols I think I'm gonna focus on maxing out the uh Bora symbol First, before anything else. Before the Esper, I mean. Where am I at? Esper is almost level 16. And I'm literally so close to maxing out the other one. After so long. Okay, those, uh, those enemies are good to be next for leveling. I mean, EXP grinding. Oh yeah, that's what I was trying to say before. Um, wait, no, I, did I already say it? I forgot. Um, but yeah, like, enemies at least one level above you, um, is good for grinding. Eh, not sure about Reboot. Reboot's case is strange, because of the high HP and stuff. But yeah. Like, this is why I'm not grind, uh, grinding for EXP in the uh, uh, Moon Bridge, because these enemies actually are a bit higher in EXP than those enemies. I still can't believe, like, the first... I don't know when the Salsa work dub was first announced. I don't remember when. But if it was before... But if it, if it was during 2018... And the first time I heard the voice actor was Ilium, I think. But I didn't know the voice actor by name or anything until, like, later. I actually don't know. I can't remember. It's been so long, and I kind of waited until much later to watch Salsa work as well, so... Getting a 
few node stones, which is really good. I need to keep upgrading my skills. Are these transferable? Yeah, okay, they are. This one I uh, wanted to check, because I think I'm slowly gonna build my arc up with arcane symbols and stuff. I don't know if that's like very necessary or anything by just doing it anyway. Now I can't stop thinking of food. XP. I love doing these like uh, things so much because I get so much XP. Closer to the forty percent. Let's see if uh, by the time this one one of the things expires, uh, EXP potions expire, I will be at uh, level uh, not level, but <laughs> I'll be at like forty percent. I just remind myself that like I think after my stream or at least yeah I think after my stream and or after when I uh I don't know but like I, I wanted to, okay I have like the physical copy of this movie with me I got it like literally around the time the movie was actually released as a physical copy like, once it's July 6th, it will exactly be, like, two years since I watched it. And that sort of is the plan of when I want to watch it again. I think... I don't know, I think it's, like, kind of nice if I watch it on the two... Exactly two years after I watched it. Oh my gosh, what do I think about... <laughs> a bit pre-recorded here because for some reason my stream started dropping frames and it was doing it for like it was it was doing it constantly i have no idea what was going on my internet's fine it was probably the network but that's annoying so yeah i had to abruptly end my grind session before i could even talk more at this point uh, that's so annoying like, this is the second time it went to extremely high drop frames, and it's like, why? Uh, so annoying. So yeah, it's- uh, the streams ended, um, prematurely. With no outro! So I had to do the outro here. So basically, yeah. 
um, this is the end of the video. Um, I have covered this, the rest of, the last bit of the Explorer storyline that I can. I even read the aftermath cutscene off the wiki, the summary of it, as well as showing the images from the blog post. I also saw the conclusion of Ho Young's story, which is amazing, and even did a bit of EXP grind. And as you can tell, I've gotten it up by at least 3%, I think. I was hoping for 40%, but the stream decides to do something stupid and didn't work anymore. It probably technically did for you guys, but it was like annoying to see it on my OBS. So, yeah. That'll probably be weirdly edited in the, in this video though, like the cutoff point. So yeah, um, yeah. Anyway, so next time, uh, we'll be, it'll be different games for a while. I'm not gonna be doing another Maple Story stream until, I have no idea, um, sometime after my Let's Play is over. Um, like, I'll do another grind session for EXP on this character. And then after that, I might start Elium's story. Like, stream through his storyline up to 200. I think it's mainly up to 140 or something quest-wise. Or somewhere around there. But I'll go up to 200 and uh, wrap it up around that point. So yeah, I think that is the plan. So anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.